Using the live photos feature on your iPhone when you're taking pictures can really save you sometimes. I keep it turned on as default because you never know when you could use it. What I mean, for example, is maybe you're taking a family photo and someone blinks. If live photos is turned off, then you're stuck with the photo that was taken. But if live photos was turned on, then you can use it to scrub through and find a frame that everyone's eyes are open. There's other uses of live photos too, which are effects like bounce, loop, or long exposure. I'll first show you how to make sure the feature is turned on and then how to edit them once you do take a photo. Start by opening the camera app. Making sure that you're on the photo tab on the bottom, you can turn live photos on by either tapping the icon here at the top or by swiping up on the modes here and turning it on this way. Now that we have it turned on, we can take a picture. Now that we know that live photos is turned on, let's head into photos. Find and open the live photo that you wanna edit. You'll know it was taken using live when it says it here. Let's first look at the available effects. Tap live at the top. You'll then get a drop down list of the different effects that you can use. You have the options of loop, which loops the live photo frames taken, bounce, which just bounces back and forth, and finally long exposure. Long exposure gives a motion blur to anything that moves while you're taking the photo. A cool tip here, try using the long exposure on something like a car driving by at night or a river with water rapids. Next, let's look at editing which frame appears as default. Like I said earlier, this is perfect when taking a photo where someone blinks or looks away. You could also use it to frame something out of the picture like we're gonna do here. Start by tapping edit on the top. Next at the bottom, hit the live photo icon. You'll then see a timeline of all the frames taken on that photo. Scroll through until you find a new frame that you like and then hit make key photo. It'll then change the default view of that photo when you're looking through your pictures. When you're finished, hit done. If you ever wanna change it back, you can just head into the edit screen, change the frame back to the original or hit revert and then revert to original. And that's how you edit the live photos that you've taken on your iPhone or iPad.